question of uh, October 1731 variant, question number eight. So what a question we have to convert into this format. And it's very clear, um, the upper power is two and x into x also x square. And if upper power and lower power equal, this is called improper fraction. So let's start. So how we can do it for x to power two plus nine x minus eight. So x into x, by God, I multiply to x to power two, x into one, I got negative x. Here I got two x, sorry, not two, four x. And here I get negative two. So finally I get what four x to power two plus nine x minus eight over. So two x to power two and these two values, I get plus three x and minus two. Upper power of x, highest power equal is called improper fraction. I'll go for long division. This will come outside, and this will go inside. So this multiply what to give you this answer two. So two twos are so two will multiply all three values. I get a four x to power two. I get six x minus four. And sign must change, must change. They cancel out. Here I get a three x positive. Here I get negative four. After this, how to write mixed fraction? So I am writing this mixed fraction writing style. So it what? So, you know, this two will come <clears throat> left side. This will go in the numerator. And this will go in denominator. There's a rule always. In the middle, no sign here, plus always. And this is actually equals to this part. So I believe this is a very, very clear. So I am writing it now here. So this is actually this one done, but for your knowledge, this I got from here, so from here. So this lower part, if I change into this format, so no problem at all. So let's have a look here. Okay, so this is done. Equation number one I count is as, okay? And this is, uh, and what he said, uh, he said, uh, convert into ABC format. And what is A value and the other is B and C. So for your knowledge, this is two is called the value of A. And now this I take, I'm saying here left. And X plus two into two X minus one equals to B over first factor, C over second factor and multiply throughout with the left-hand side denominator. Multiply by left-hand side denominator. So when I multiply this with the whole thing here, this fully cancel, so I will get three X minus four. When I multiply with this, so this X plus two cancel out, this will stay behind of B, beside of B. When this multiply with this factor, this cancel out, so this will stay beside of C. So first of all, this I will plug in zero. I'm going to show you what I'm saying. So X plus two is equal to zero. Two will go there. I get X is equal to, so I'm saying here, put X is equals to minus two. Where I put, I'll plug it in a whole equation. When I plug in minus two here, I got minus six or minus 10. When I plug in minus two here, minus four, minus five B. When I plug in minus two here, this becomes zero because I already said it's a zero. It will divide and B, I get two. So first I plug in this equal to zero and now I plug in this equal to zero. So have a look. So two X minus one equal to zero. One goes there and two divide. So I'm saying here, put X is equals to one over two. When I plug in one over two here, so what I'm getting here, I'm getting here, I check in my calculator. So three, divided by two minus four, it gives giving minus five over two. When I plug in half here and it is zero, so this full gone. When I plug in half here, so half plus two giving five by two. So five by two times two C. And C value, this goes there, two to cancel, five by cancel minus, minus one. So C becomes minus one. And now I'm putting back all three values Actually, BC values I'm plugging in here. After putting this values BC, then I will plug in this whole value here. So why not I plug in indirectly in one? So I'm saying put in one. And I'm saying here, put in one. 
So one minute, I am putting in one. Good, in one. And what is equation you have? So I, I am just copy this whole equation and I paste here. Okay, students. So now right inside, I will erase this and I will write its value. How to write value, students? So this B value two, I'll copy there. So two over X plus two. And the plus, and this value C, I plug in there, minus one over uh, two X minus one. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, first part is completely over. And it means I have achieved this answer. And now we have to resolve this one. And what is answer is my target. Uh, this is my target. So this I have to find indication lower limit one, upper limit four. So let's see, this is my uh, one to four limit. So one to four limit. So let's start. Okay, and it means one to four limits. So I will take the both sides. So I will take this whole thing here. Okay, one to four limits student, it means one to four limit here. Dx, one to four limit here, dx. So Stuart, I will split. How split this separate? Integration one to four, two dx separate. This two I'll bring outside of integral one to four and one over x plus two separate. And this minus one I bring outside, I get one over two x minus one dx and one to four limit. And this is my ultimate target. So let's see how we can get it. Uh, what is integration of two? All of you know two become two x. What is this function rule? We have a rule is what function down its derivative available. What is derivative of the two? Zero x become one. One plus zero is one available up. When function down derivative up available and whole power function is one. So we can write logarithm. How we can write logarithm? Look, I'm showing you log of x plus two. So this is a story. But problem is here, what is this derivative? This has zero, this has a two. So I got a two, I need two up. But problem two is not available on the top. So what I will do, student, is the most important part. I will do what? Simple two by two. Upper two, I will bring inside. So I will get one over two outside and upper two will go inside it. I will get this kind of format. And now function down, it's derivative up available. I can integrate easily. An answer is turned to be what? Let me write it. Okay, negative have outside here. I got ln of 2x minus 1. I limit 1 to 4. And I plug in the first, put 4 here, 4 to the 8. 8 and plug in 1 here, I got a 2. Upper limit minus lower limit. 4 plug in here, 4 plus 2 is 6. So log of 6. When I plug in one here, I got log of three. When I put four to the eight, eight, one gone, seven, ln seven. When I plug one here, one to the two, one. So log of one is zero. I think up till here, okay. Here I got a six. But what is my target? My target is this. So six is achieved. You can see six achieved. But here we have a half outside. So why not have, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, if I showed you show you how we can get this kind of thing, so I think so. First of all, I can this is showing six up and three down because there's negative sign. So like this, okay. So uh, this is cancel process. I got two and half log of seven. So six plus two ln two minus half log of seven. Interesting part, because you can see students, I need half outside. So how to take half? So take LCM. So LCM of this, I take half. So this half, this two matching, I get negative ln seven. But this two not matching, this two multiply there, because under two, nothing. So this two will multiply. I got a four. So student, ultimately this, I can write outside like half. And four will go in the power. When two is power, I can say here log of 16 because two to the power four. Okay, I can show you full working, then you can understand. Okay, now finally, what I get solution uh, the format six plus half inside ln 16 minus ln seven. 
So wait a minute, this is not a proper writing. I just do it again here. So six plus six plus half ln 16 minus ln seven. So six plus half still outside and log of 16 by seven. And this is the same is our target. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I think the concept is totally, totally clear.